The title of the story for this week is The Fish and Their Gifts by Joshua Kaiponohea Stender. One day on the island of Hawaii, near the famous beach Hapuna, a young boy named Kikoa was picking opihi. He was the son of a great fisherman named Kikai. Kikoa longed to walk in his father's footsteps. As Kikoa climbed on the rocks, he saw the biggest opihi he had ever seen. It was on the rock farthest out into the ocean. Kikoa knew it was dangerous to go that far out, but he wanted the shell to make a beautiful necklace for his tutu vahine. While Kikoa thought about the wonderful necklace he would make, a towering wave surprised him and swept him into the sea. Kikoa felt himself pulled farther and farther from the shore by the strong currents. Soon, his arms and legs became very tired from fighting the ocean. He was frightened. Remembering what his father had taught him, Kikoa prayed to Kanaloa, the protector of fishermen. Suddenly, schools of fish swam close together to make a floating mat of their fins and bodies. Moving as one, they drifted Kikoa safely to shore. He gave thanks to Kanaloa and to the fish for their kind rescue. At home that evening, under the stars, Kikoa told his father what had happened. Kikai was grateful that his son had been rescued. The fisherman prayed to Kanaloa to bless the fish. At dawn, a huge whale appeared near Hapuna. Kanaloa himself had come to thank the fish for saving Kekoa. For protecting the son of the fisherman, I will help protect you. To each of you, I will give a gift. Choose what you wish and come forward. First came Ono. He said, Mano always catches and eats my family. Can you please help me swim faster? Instantly, Ono shot away like a streak faster than any of the other fish in the ocean. Malolo said, Now Ono will be able to catch my family. I want wings so I can fly and escape from Ono's hungry family. Immediately, two of her fins grew into wings. He'e moved forward, gurgling with anticipation. Please give me the gift of invisibility. I want to be able to hide from Puhi and his shiny white teeth. Kanaloa thought for a minute. Then he gave He'e the ability to change his colors to match wherever he was hiding. Kanaloa also gave He'e a bag of black dye to cloud the water so that Puhi wouldn't see He'e. Hinalea timidly approached Kanaloa and requested his gift. I would like a smaller mouth so fishermen cannot hook me. Kanaloa granted all the fish the protection they desired. Akeke could now blow himself up to be bigger than the mouths of fish who usually chased him. This made his spine stick out, too. Alaihi was given sharp spikes and spines. That afternoon, when Kikoa and his father went diving, they noticed changes in the fish. When Kikoa tried to spear He'e, his target was suddenly hidden by a black cloud. 
Alaihi now had sharp spikes and spines. What happened, father? asked Kekoa. His father replied, Kanaloa has rewarded the fish with gifts for saving you. We will offer this ho'okupu to Kanaloa to show our thanks. Remember, son, every deed deserves its just reward.